out here in the middle of like <laughs> nowhere. No, actually it's just nowhere. We're out in here in HB, one of the wetlands out in the sun of the beach. And we'll be shooting another video. Not video. Oh well, yeah, video, video. Video and photos. Yeah. Would be. Cold. It's so cold. It's not even that sunny and she's like has her like transparent, no. not transparent. You would think that this would stop the wind from blowing my hair everywhere, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's moments where I should have two cameras. But then it'd be so hard to manage both of them. It'd be very hard to manage. Unless you put one like just, on, just far away. In there. And yeah, that's, that's like the best way. This is actually really, really pretty. I haven't been on this side. I, I usually shoot on the other side of this. Other side? Yeah. Okay. Other side of that. But I really like this. This side more? I shoot low. cool because you see the little path. The pathway. You walking backwards is not really safe either. Yeah, but the wind is not working in my favor today. So is it supposed to protect I'm you going. from wind or it's protect you from the sun? Because there's a huge diffuser right now. You can, the sun's not really beaming down. Both? It's not that bright. It's bright to me. She's like a vampire. Oh, treading on. It's a hole. Let's see. That's a really big hole. Dang, look at that. Here's a jump. So the reason why I'm going back to my car the third time is because I forgot my lens. The most important thing, lens. I got everything else besides my lenses. I just walked back and now V wants to change outfits. I got my lenses and now she was only outfits. Great. My bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go change. That's really good. Uh, I am freezing on blood off right now and this grass has little pokey sticky things and they're all over me. But it's fun. Hey, change off, it's running out of time. Yes, up the change. My hair's all messed up. She's alive. I was dying, slowly, dehydrated, stranded in the desert. <laughs> All right, so we finished the shoot today. Yes, um, we did. Right on time. It's what time is it right now? I need to pull up. Well, I don't. Well, have yeah, a definitely. Watch. Like this is. <laughs> it's like currently. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do that all the time. According, well, the sun's gone too, so now we. Can... Oh, it's seven. Oh, it's seven. Perfect time for well, food. Four till seven. So um, I don't know what to eat. We are debating between Japanese food and Vietnamese, Vietnamese food. Um, the Sichuan Gumi, which is in Fountain Valley, right? Yes. And that wait's super long. Every so time I try to eat there, it's like the wait's really ridiculously long. long. But we can try. If we, mm -hmm. if we can't get in, then we'll just go like... Wang He. Oh, I haven't been there. Wait. You've never been to Wang He? Have I? I don't know. It's like the best Vietnamese food. All right, that's high standards there. Now, okay, we gotta go there then. Okay, we're going there. <laughs> All right, we're here at what? Wang He. Wang He. We're uh, in Garden Grove, California. We're not in Garden Grove. Westminster. In Westminster. Oh, okay. Westminster, mm -hmm. California. Garden Grove, Westminster is almost the same thing to me. Like Westminster. 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 And we're gonna eat at this restaurant here. This is my favorite Vietnamese food restaurant. So if you're ever in LC, you guys have to come here. They have a really cool bridge. At least when I was like eight, it was really cool. I don't see the bridge or something. It's right there. That's not a bridge. <laughs> that is not a bridge. Look at that. Well, I'm walking over it. Yeah. See, I think when you were little, it makes more sense. You know what I like about Vietnamese restaurants? They always have fish. Exactly. <laughs> they have fish tanks. I loved it. Ever since I was a kid, I loved going to Vietnamese restaurants because they always had fish tanks. And it's always it's like salt water, so they always have fishes. Colorful fishes. You always have dory. Oh, they keep it kind of simple here. I like it. I like it. Okay, when you're here, you have to get the appetizers. What's the appetizer? Which is like fen bao. Oh. They're like the little circle rice cakes. rice cakes. And then we get noodles each for ourselves. So either like bung thiet nu, me wang dak tiet kok su. Exciting! No, I think we should go over that one for now. Yeah. We are so ready. Yay! See, that's a trick. Ah. The, the, the trick to. 
to break your chopsticks like very evenly is like you hold it at the end like this, right? And you bang it against the table and it breaks. All right, so what just came out is the uh, bun bale. And bun bale is the rice cakes on top here. And you have like dried onions, right? Don't so, touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. You have the dried onions here. And then the shredded shrimp and green onions. And this is fish sauce with like peppers in it. And you gotta kind of take this and kind of pour it over this and you eat it. Now other places, they also have like mung bean on top and that's pretty good too, but this place doesn't. So it's just preference on where you go to get Vinnie's food. I like to do it around the edges, just so you can see the I think that's enough. And then you go like that. Scoop it out. Go in circle. See, it's super sticky. But because it's kind of large, I cut it in fours, and then, ta-da! Fancy. Yeah. Very fancy. Cheers. Cheers. So V used the regular fish sauce, and I'm gonna put the, the peppers in mine. I don't need the small one. Oh, well, well, when we scoop it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, I used it for this one. Okay, now, now we, we go in with this. I am doing one hand. I'm trying to be pro. I'm not talented that way. You know, I used a cooking show with one hand. You guys refer back to like the old JKP videos. I used to cook with one hand and had the camera in the other hand. <laughs> oh, that's spicy. What are you about? That's really good. I like, I like that one a lot. Everybody go to get me guan. They all do it differently. We got rice crackers in a way. Oh yeah, so these are like rice crackers. With sesame seeds in it. And then they put shrimp on top with pork. So like sauteed pork with peanuts. And then the bottom is like egg noodles. You have lettuce and- Jellyfish. Jellyfish, that's new. I never had jellyfish in my Biquan. And after that you have all this, you mix it up and then you eat it. Now this one's not as soupy as the other Biquans I had. Um, and then right here in front of me, we have bun, oh my god, and egg rolls. Grilled pork, noodles on the bottom, and then you got pickled carrots and like radishes. Dang, look at your cinematic pan. Don't make fun of me! When you're stuck somewhere, you just gotta pick yourself back up and keep moving. You're still stuck. <laughs> this is pretty good. I like it. You can never go wrong with Vietnamese food. I've never been to a place where Vietnamese food is like really bad. Actually, I have. Oh, okay. Fortunately, I haven't. Very rare. Yeah, very rare though. I haven't, which is good. I got a good streak right now. I am slowly slowing down. Well, I'm actually slowed down by a lot now. And the food is really good here. But once again, I think food coma is going to get kicking in anytime soon. And I need sugar. And sugar means dessert. So let's go. <laughs> Alright, we're at Almond House. And I haven't been here. And uh, V told me that this place is like good for almonds. Almond well, mochi. I would hope it. Would oh, okay. Alright. Hi. Hello. Can you please? I mean... Last time I got their almond milk tea, it was great. You can always sample anything at Foster Souls, sparkly, pomegranate, or basil. Since we're here at Almond House, <laughs> you just might as well just get almond milk tea. Almond jelly. Hey, might as well put almond jelly inside. That's what she said. See? Yeah, see, see? She, she knows what you're talking yeah. about. She works here. I know, I work here. Good. See, I don't work here, but I knew that. She's a pro. I am, I am. Yeah. She's okay. a pro here. So we'll just listen to what she says. All right, cool. We'll just do that. But yeah, um, there's also jasmine fruit tea. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> <laughs> chill, see, I wasn't gonna freak out. <laughs> Here's the almond milk tea. Okay, so basically jasmine fruit tea is my favorite fruit tea one. It comes with strawberry bits, chia bits, and almond jelly. And I like it sweeter, so I replace the almond jelly for lychee jelly. Mm. Just get the professionals do it. That's I know. Just gotta do it. Hey, here. I'm so good. She's really good. She's a good seller too. She, you got me, you got me here. All right. I good. love it. And you can always adjust the sweetness. That's great. I know. It's really good. That's why it's my favorite. I have good taste. Gotta trust the pros. <laughs> they know what they're talking about. There's also um, an almond house iced coffee if you guys like that, but it is at night. But that's our number one. Okay. 
Thank it's you. super good. I like it. Ooh, this really? is good. Winter really? volunteer. Uh huh. Okay. Winter volunteer. I swear, y'all don't trust me when I say it's good. <laughs> That's good too. My problem was I never know how they make winter melon tea because I looked up winter melon. Yeah. Online and yeah. it's literally a cucumber inside yeah. of a melon. Yeah. Oh my god, my uh, right? my boss he's like, oh, I just did the winter melon. I was like, do you mean watermelon? He's like, no, Jen. Winter. It's it's winter, winter melon. Winter. And I was like, but it's summer. <laughs> oh no. I don't know. We're naive. <laughs> That's how it works. By the way, they also have ice cream. Oh, oh my yeah. god, ice yeah, cream. You can always sample that. We can just sample the whole place. <laughs> no, I don't want to sample the whole place. There again, it tastes better than it smells. It really does. It does. But it doesn't smell bad. No. Oh. Is there any Yes. Uh, I want to try the durian. I want to try. Number one. Number one? Yeah, it's our number one. Dang, that's tight. Okay. But then how much the Asian moms take all of it? Oh. oh so they buy the entire thing? Yeah, they usually go so like, we're like, no! Why? Well, there is enough though. Okay. You guys would just get the last. You guys would get the last cup. Okay. You guys have to try these nuts. These nuts. I need this specifically for that. Oh man, pistachios. Well, you want us to try. Okay, we're gonna try these. We'll try. All cheers. Right, cheers. Mm. Exactly what it's supposed to taste like. Mm. I love it. See, you guys, there's nothing wrong during. You guys it. are tripping. That's amazing. Unless you're in like Singapore or Malaysia, where they have like 60 different strains of durian. That's Some are super crazy. sweet. Some are very smelly. Some are don't smell at all. This one. Just I'm all going all this in. One? All this one. Well, because you could get more. Why are you tempting me? I'm. I'm just saying. You're just tempting me. Low key because I also I'm gonna steal like a couple spoons. Dang. Okay. Uh, Darian, you choose one. Me? Yeah, choose one. Okay, between the almond milk tea and these nuts, which one? I would honestly say almond, almond. and it's also because it's easier to scoop too. Compared to the pistachio. Mm -hmm. Right, the almond then. Yeah. Almond and durian. Okay. But more durian than almond. Oh yeah, no worries. I'm gonna scoop the rest for you guys. Yeah. Mm. Or I'll, I'll, yeah. Mm. I know I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, man. <laughs> Y'all come to Almond House. You have to ask for Jenda. Yes. And if she's not here, just say she's the best person ever. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> so if she's not here, there's no other pro to even refer you anything. So just don't come when she's Leave not here. Leave and then come back when she's here. Yeah, or just call her in. So make her like work double shifts <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah, just be like, yo, can you call Jendo? That's the only person. <laughs> she's the only person that can help me. <laughs> um, I'll tell you regular large. It is only 40 cents more. Just make it large. I was gonna get large anyways, but the way she's trying to sell it to you is like, that's just that much. I am a marketing matter. major, so I gotta. Oh, uh, there you go. There it is. There you go, you gotta sell it. You gotta sell it. <laughs> Being here younger, we didn't even think about having a, something like this in a shop in Westminster Garden Grove area. It was like very rare. To be fair, I grew up with taste tea and like volcano tea. Tasty's across the street actually. Yeah, so I grew up with all like the boba shops. Yeah, we did a music video here. Tasty has her own JK music video. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's very old school. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I'd probably make a link in the description box. Can I do the honors? I really right, want to low-key want to sit. Wait a second. What do you mean vlogging? Yeah, I forgot to vlog. All right, go. Cool. Almond milk tea ice cream with durian ice cream. You know, I just thought about it. I don't know how good they would taste together, but they're both bomb by itself, so. Let's I do don't this. care. We're just you gonna don't eat care. it. It's ice cream. Just kidding. I need to get a shot at this first. Okay. I feel like we're tasting this all over again, even yeah, though yeah. we just did it. Yay, <laughs> cheers. cheers. I don't mind the mixture. Mm. Here, I mixed it two spoons. It like sweetens it up. I actually really like it. Yeah, it's really good, right? Yeah. Can you imagine durian almond milk tea? I'm giving my ideas now. Oh, you can call it the bee. The flying bee. <laughs> <laughs> So that wraps up our night here at Almond House. Uh huh. So a fan who I actually know because he works at all the places that I go to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was here. Yeah, he drove out to see Tommy. Because he, he saw he saw us on Jen Doe's, aka Jen Doe from Almond, Almond House, House uh, Snapchat. Uh -huh. And then uh, he's like, you know, I gotta come out and say hi. So he came and said hi to us. Really cool. Very really nice guy. And now we're gonna head back home because I got school. Tomorrow. She got school tomorrow. I feel like every time we end a vlog, I'm always like, I have school. 
That's her excuse. She's not school. She's like a secret agent. And that's like, like murder people. Uh, so that wraps up for the day. So my sister's staying back at the shop for I don't know how long. She said she'll be coming home super late. And for me, I have a bunch of more edits to do. Tomorrow, uh, we have to get ready for a shoot for tomorrow or another food adventure, um, but not as many locations. And then it's Friday, this, it's raining and I have another shoot with Jungle Tribe. And then Saturday, I have another shoot that I can't really disclose. And then Monday, we have a read with Steph. And Tuesday, Tuesday we're leaving San Francisco. Well, good night, y'all. I hope this uh, you guys enjoy these vlogs. Uh, it gets very tiring. I'm not some people just vlog every day. It's kind of crazy, but now I know. Now I know. All right. Good night, y'all. It's the big boy over here. It's like Domino's pizza, but not really. Check it. Or, check it out real quick. Hey, look at this. So, oh, and it's a cool hat too. So you know, you know, you guys that know Sugarfish know that there's a thing called Trust Me Light. Trust me, and trust me, and then the. Kazunor, whatever. This, this is on a whole nother level. Oh, we should call this not trust me, but like more on just, just do me. This is just do me. <laughs> do me in all kinds of ways. Just, just real quick, me. peep that.